What's up everyone? This weekend I borrowed some spray paint off a friend and today I'm going to hydro dip. I've got a fair bit of stuff planned so I'm just going to set up the GoPro and I'm going to set up this camera on a tripod because I can't really film pretty good with my hands covered in spray paint so let's get started. So before this video even started I ended up hydro dipping my bar ends blue and yellow just to do a test what it would be like before I started doing the video and I also done one of my old honeycore wheels red and black just to try out the different colored spray paints. As you can see here it was pretty like patchy and I think that's just because of cheap spray paint. I started taking my scooter apart to get the brake and the front fork off so then I could get those ready to hydro dip and I tested out the spray paint at the same time. I started spraying red and yellow spray paint onto the water to try and get a pretty cool pattern. Red and yellow were actually only the one of the few colours that were properly in the water. They were all the same spray paint but I was talking to a friend about this and it goes like all plasticky kind of on the water and he thinks it's because it's cheap spray paint. But they were all the same brand spray paint and it was just really weird how red and yellow were like the only sort of colours that worked properly. Anyway I end up getting a pattern that I liked, I swelled it a bit, little bit with a stick. And I got a bit of string and put it through one of the bolts for the brake and dropped that down into the water. If you guys don't know how hydro dipping actually works, what you do is you fill a container up with water and you spray spray paint on top of the water and it forms like a cool swirly pattern and then you pretty much just dip whatever it is straight through into the water underneath and you can shake it around as you can see I'm doing here and then you clear all the spray paint away and then you pull it back up and it'll be painted in like the swirly color wherever you dropped it through in the water. What I actually done with the brake because I didn't like the pattern that was on it I sprayed some more yellow into the spray paint and dipped it straight through again. I ended up liking the pattern that came out the second try and then I just strung that one up by the string through the brake bolts and waited for it to dry. What I ended up doing here was I took the front fork off my scooter and I decided to hydro dip that so I cleaned the paint off the bucket and I ended up doing blue and yellow this time. The pattern ended up coming out really nice this time. The blue and yellow mixed in some parts and it turned green so I added a little bit more blue to the original pattern on the bucket and swelled it around a little bit with my finger and I went straight through again. For some reason because my fork is like a box shape one of the corners at the top it just didn't want to paint for some reason. Whatever I done, I went twice on this fork and the paint just missed that one spot completely. It's still like the greyish black original colour. I finished with the fork and left that over to dry and next up I done my GoPro case. I ended up priming the GoPro case just because I thought it would work a little bit better. The original colours I was going to do were black and white, but the white was a different sort of spray paint, I don't know what was wrong with it, but 
it just didn't want to really work on the water. It kept drying out real fast, going real flaky and everything. And then the black just hardly made any paint on the water. I tried yellow and black this time, but the same sort of thing happened. I was actually considering doing the actual GoPro. I was just gonna tape over the lens and like all the ports and everything like that and I was gonna dip that straight through. I've seen YouTube videos on that before. I didn't really want to mess that up so because this time was my first time hydro dipping I decided just to do the case last minute so And the third time I tried it, I just done blue and yellow again because they're my two favorite colors. They ended up working the best out of all the paints. So I just used that again for the last hydro dip of the day and it actually came out pretty good. I didn't have anything else around to hold the GoPro case because it's sort of fiddly to hold and because I didn't want to get any fingerprints or anything all over it. So I just used a pair of scissors I had laying around The first dip came out real stringy. All of the yellow and blue was all stringing off. I think that was because I done too much spray paint on top of the water. So I ended up going again and then that was all stringy as well. So I added a bit more blue. Then I went straight back through to get a little bit more blue on it. And I ended up actually dropping it in the bottom with the scissors. So I had to reach in and grab it out and it actually came out really good. But then I just done one more for good luck, just with my fingers, shaked it around and pulled it back out. It was really stringy as well, but I ended up just pulling the string off and hanging it up to dry. And then all the dips were complete, so here's the results. Thanks for watching today's video. I haven't uploaded at all this week because this video is taking a little bit longer to make, but I'll be back to regular uploads from now on, so I'll see you in the next video.